This video is about Native American style flutes. I'm going to be showing you a range of flutes here that are in the mid to upper mid range. I'll play each one, tell you what it is. This video will give you an idea of which flutes you might want to purchase, and also I will talk about the key of each one and tell you which major and minor keys, including blues, that will fit with each one of these flutes. It's pretty simple, but in case you didn't know, you'll also have that as a takeaway. I'm Kalani, welcome to the channel. So all these flutes are part of my collection. I'm gonna go through each one. Let's start at the bottom, and we'll work our way up. I'll play each one, give you a little sample, and uh, let's get started. So the first one here is a G flute. So this is a mid G. This happens to be a wood sounds flute. Uh, Nigerian ebony, I believe. Pretty simple design. Here's what it sounds like. So wonderful mid, kind of the alto of flutes. Mid-range, you know, F-sharp, G, uh, are in that middle range, right in the middle, before we drop down into bass, which I think um, would start with an E flute. But for the purposes of this video, this video we're calling this a mid-range flute. So warm sound, G is a, is a great flute. Uh, it starts to get into the a little more spread out finger uh, placement. So I don't know that I would rec uh, recommend this as a first flute, although it's not that different from an A, so you could start on a G. G and F sharp are about the same size, roughly. Um, but most of the time, I would recommend starting on an A, and there's more reasons for that than just the size. Uh, before we leave the G entirely, I do want to mention the, every flute here, the name, the letter name refers to the minor mode, minor modality. So you would play the G in a G minor, and you would play the G uh, flute in a B flat major tonality. You would also use it for G major blues, if you want to play in the 12 bar blues. All right, so that's the G. The A flute, a little bit smaller. I recommend A for starting, not just because the size is somewhat universally adaptable, it's comfortable for, for men, women, um, people with smaller hands. Uh, it's just got a lot of musical utility. Before I talk about that, uh, let's give it a listen. Of course, it'll be a little bit higher pitched than the G. This is also a wood sounds flute, Brazilian rosewood, simple design. Now, why do we start with A, or why would I recommend an A flute as a great starting point, or just a flute you want to have at least one of in your bag? Well, that's because A minor is the white keys on the piano. It also relates to C major, which is a very common key, also the white keys. C major, a lot of children's music, a lot of music out there in A minor and C major. So it's a useful flute musically, as well as a great place to start. Uh, also, most people have a flute, so if you're going to a flute circle, you want to play with other musicians, other flute players, chances are they're all going to have A flutes. So if you want to all play together, you just get your A's out and you're good to go. All right, let's move on. Just a step up, and we're going to go to a B flute. This is a journey of life flute. So uh, it's a little bit different, a little more narrow bore. It's got a little bit different sound. Here's what it sounds like. And again, this is a B, a B minor flute. Now right away, you, you'll notice that the sound is a little brighter, and that's also due not only to the fact that we're moving up in frequency range, but also because of the design of this flute. And this flute is a hardwood from Thailand. I don't know what the wood is. I brought it back, and Dan Shelchow at Journey of Life made that flute, uh, made this flute for me out of that wood. So B is a nice range. It's a little, you know, a little brighter than the A, of course, a little smaller, a little, the finger holes are a little closer together. Uh, the B minor flute would go with uh, D major 
tonality. And D major is a pretty common key for guitar players, uh, any stringed instrument. They tend to like keys that have sharps in them. So A, D, E, uh, that kind of thing. So a B flute would be a good choice if you have a guitar player friend or ukulele. Maybe, not, not so much ukulele. <laughs> That's for C major. Uh, but uh, B flute, B blues, B major blues, B minor, or D major. All right, let's go up a step. Speaking of D, this is a D flute. This is also a wood sounds flute, a little bit older one. Uh, I don't know what the wood is. Here's what it sounds like. D minor flute. Now, I think, and we all have our own opinion and perception, but to me, now we're getting into the high range, right? It's a brighter sound, almost has a, a whistle-like quality, more piercing. Uh, it's gonna start to be useful in group drumming situations where you wanna be heard over a variety of other instruments, not just flutes. Most of these lower flutes here, the, mid, the lower mid-range flutes, are going to be useful with softer instruments, other flutes, things that are not in that frequency range. However, when you get into adding drums, percussion, maybe other instruments like guitars and things, and if you wanna have a melody that you can hear acoustically, this is where this comes in. So D minor also relates to F major. D minor also uses most of the white keys on the piano, so it's a good flute for that reason. Uh, a lot of music is in D minor, it's a very popular minor key. Uh, F major, also pretty popular. And that would go with a D major blues, 12 bar blues. All right, the last flute we have in this lineup is a step up, it's, in a, it's an E flute. This is also a wood sounds flute. It is a hardwood, I forgot the name of it. Uh, the finger holes are pretty tight for me. Like my third, the third finger on my upper hand and the first finger on my lower hand actually touch when I play this flute. So for me, and I have large hands, I have large size hands. Uh, for me, this is getting a little bit on the tight side. Here's what it sounds like. Beautiful sound, very cutting, you know, you're gonna be heard if you're playing, if you're playing a flute like this. And coincidentally, the E, so this would be at the upper range of the mid flutes, I think, you know, before we get into the high flutes. Uh, and it's an octave above where I said the bass flutes pretty much start. So I think, you know, that puts it at the upper end of the mid, mid tone flutes, right? Uh, if basses start at E, mid-tones end at E. Uh, so this is the upper end. So why would you want an E minor flute? Well, E minor is also a pretty common key. It relates to G major. So another good key for your uh, fretted friends, <laughs> your guitar player friends. Um, and like the D flute, it's gonna work well in situations where you, you're playing with other instruments, drums, maybe a bass, maybe piano, guitar, singing. Uh, it'll cut, it'll, it'll come out acoustically. Uh, so if you have a mic, you could use any of these flutes, but if you don't have a mic, I would say you wanna stick with the top two over here, E and D. B is kind of our, hmm, <laughs> can go maybe. And then A and G, uh, I would say usually they're not gonna be as pronounced in mixed instrumental ensembles. That being said, you've got a big range here. What would be my first flute? The A. Uh, what would be my second flute? If I wanted to stay in the warmer, fuller you know, range, I would jump down to G. If I wanted to get a little brighter, I would say D or E. Uh, would be a nice complement. And, and just for those of you, without getting too technical, if you have an A flute, and you play in mode four, you can play the same notes as the D flute. And if you have an E flute and you play in mode, in mode four, you can play the same pitches that are on the A flute. 
So you can match the A with either a D or an E flute by using mode four. That's another video. You can look that up. Lots of information on that online, including some of my videos. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any additional questions, you can connect with me at patreon.com slash Kalani. Please support our flute makers, all of them. There are many people out there making beautiful instruments. Please support them and buy more flutes. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Um, happy, happy music making, everyone. I'll see you in another video.